Probably the number one question I get is, Axel, how much longer is this shit going to go on for? It's, it's probably the number one question. The number two question I get is, um, is where should I put my money? That's a much harder answer to give to somebody. But the first one I can't answer. And I'm going to try and answer this. You're going to have to be patient with me while I answer this because I'm going to answer this pretty thoroughly. But I'm going to do it with a story because there's really not any other good way to do this. So you need to bear with me, all right? Let's say that you and I are going to be researchers. And what we're going to do is we're going to research the behavior of 100 people, how they behave if they are all offered a hundred dollars to be to take part in our re, in our experiment, okay? So you and I are the ones doing this, and we so the deal is this: everybody's going to be given a coin, okay? Now just a plain plastic coin to flip. On one side it says heads, the other side it says tails. So there's no discernible anything. It's just a just a coin, just so we know 50-50, right? And all 100 people who participate are gonna get $100, but there's some rules. They have to stay until the completion of the experiment. Everybody has to stay, and if they don't stay, then nobody gets paid. So that means that everybody has to stay there until the completion of the experiment. It's gonna be really simple, and to most people's ears, they're like, okay, yeah, that's gonna be pretty simple. So what are we gonna do? The experiment is, you're all gonna to turn to each other, and we're just gonna flip a coin, and whoever wins the coin toss between, the, between two people, so there's going to be, you know, out of the coin toss, they get your coin. The goal of the experiment is to have one man standing left with all the coins, okay? So now, for those of you that are math, that are math whizzes, you already know where this is going to, what, what's going to happen here, right? What's going to happen is, is that everybody's, the first round, half the room is going to be out. Half the room gone. They're just going to sit there, right? They're going to sit and we're going to give them all a red balloon, right? To indicate that they're out. They're not playing anymore. They just have to sit there and wait. So now then there's the next round. And then you're going to, now the next round is going to be a little trickier because see, now everybody has two coins. So now there's, it's the best of two. So now you're going to have this little back and forth because you're going to have some people that will, that will win two in a row. And then those guys will be out. So it won't be, it won't be 50% again, right? You understand that's not how that works. So it's going to be less or fewer, excuse me. So it's going to be going to be fewer, fewer people out. So before you know it, you know, about, let's say 70 or 80 people are going to be just kind of sitting there with, you know, with a red balloon tied to their wrist and, you know, just waiting for everybody else to finish this experiment. How long is this experiment going to go on for? Pretty long time. Now that's the problem. So now what if we made it even worse, right? They're like, we're down to like five guys and everybody's like, okay, good. Uh, it's been like four hours. We're waiting for some, one of these six or seven guys to win. We're down to five. We're, we're coming up on, you know, like it's coming up on beer o'clock, dude. I got to go. And I want my hundred bucks, but you have to, everybody has to wait, right? Until these five or six guys. But then we, as the researchers throw in a wrinkle and we say, oh, here's 20 more people that we're going to add to this. And we're going to give them two coins each. So you math guys now already see the problem that I'm explaining here, right? Like the like you high-end math guys, you algebra guys, right? You already see where I'm going with this problem. And then it whittles down a little bit more. Now it's down to five guys. Now we're we've been there for many, many hours, right? With this, and people are just sitting there with balloons tied to them, okay? And then we bring in ten more and give them three coins each. And say, keep flipping, guys, let's keep this thing going. Yeah, so the original 50 people, right? The original 50% that are that are sitting that have been sitting there patiently from the very beginning of this whole experiment, they're probably pretty pissed at this point, aren't they? They're like, "Dude, 100 bucks sounded like a lot, but I've been here for 9 hours. And this shit just keeps going, and these assholes keep bringing more people in to this goddamn experiment. We want this shit to end." Yeah. So, for those of you that need to have this explained, I'm going to explain it to you. The coins represent the dollar, the worthless chicken shit, nonsense, paper bullshit that we keep spending. And the more and more people are just, let's just keep adding illegals to this. Whereas the rest of the country is like, dude, come on, let's get this over with because we really need to like 
have, it's adult time now. We need to have actually a real economy now, not just keep, you know, planes of these five or six guys. Now, what would happen is, this is the other thing that would be interesting, an interesting study, is that the, the few guys that are there, that are still flipping coins back and forth, they would all start talking amongst themselves about, well, it's it's not really luck, you understand. See, if you if you flip it with the with the tails facing up, you know it'll come up heads more often. They'll start coming up with every kind of crazy, weird nonsense in the world to describe 50-50 odds. Okay, so will the people that are sitting there with red balloons tied to them. They're going to be there going, dude, what the fuck, man? We're you know we're sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting, and you know that's the smart ones. <laughs> The ones that the other ones that are like, well, maybe there is something that's it's not just luck. Maybe it's not anything like that. You know, maybe it's it is there is some kind of a skill there. You know, like, well, yeah, I know your time, your time, but everybody's time there is being wasted equally, except for the the handful of people that are still playing this weird fucking game, right? There's a handful of people still playing this weird fucking game, and as like personally and professionally, I'm telling you. This ended in 2008, right? All, all of this other shit that you see right now, this is all. This is the after time. This is this is your post-apocalyptic bullshit future. We just don't have the wardrobe, you know, the, the cool wardrobe. You know, we we don't all have like uh, sawed-off shotguns and what have you, and, you know, and like uh, and cool mullets. We we just we just don't you know we don't have the wardrobe for all this. Like that that's what's happened here. This is the post-apocalyptic future, and it's it's like a thousand times worse. <laughs> Than, 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 than people running a road warrior. I mean, it's, it's way worse. It's worse because it just keeps getting worse every day for a lot of people. There was a guy, I did a video on this. I, I stitched it a long time ago. Some of you, you, you folks that have been following me, you, you, you know the video I'm talking about. He's like, why is it people are debating, you know, praying for an economic collapse? It's because of this. It's this exact situation I just described. You've got a bunch of people that are like sitting around going, dude, this isn't going to work for us. N none of this is going to do anything for us. And in fact, the longer we sit here, the worse this gets for us. We, we've we been here for 14 hours now. That $100 isn't worth it anymore. That's how this works. It's why I talk about the marshmallow test. That's why I've thoroughly debunked it, actually. Uh, it's why I talk about this idea of delayed gratification <clears throat> that gets used against you, right? Right? Delay gratification is great if you have direct control over the circumstances, <clears throat> such as you go out in your backyard and you plant corn. You now have to wait for delayed gratification for the corn to pop up. That's delayed gratification, and you have control over that, with the exception of the weather. Okay, but delayed gratification of of, of some uh, of some company saying, "Yeah, hey, work here, and we we may promote you, possibly if may could." Yeah, those are all weasel words. Those are all weasel words. It's all those are all words designed to get out of the deal that they cut with you. I, I hope this is making sense to some of you. Okay, I mean, I hope the hope the parable of the ninety nine red balloons makes sense to you because the whole idea is that we want to have the one guy with everything. Like, great, that's that's awesome. Let's declare him a winter. Let's let's just declare Bezos and Elon Musk a tie. You got it's a tie. Fuck, you win. Okay, that's awesome. Now let's collapse all this shit so that we can have a real currency again. Because the dollar is a, is a is a bullshit fucking currency, right along with the Federal Reserve and anybody who serves that bullshit, okay? Which means all of the bankers that are involved in all that. It's fucking bullshit. Time to move on. Hope that helps.